Okay, let's look at a problem that involves known masses and absolute dependent motion, or a pulley problem. Um, I went ahead and drew out the diagram and put my datum at the top of this pulley right here. Then we can call this distance SA, this distance SA, and that distance SB while we ignore the top of the pulley right here. We can also ignore this portion of string and this right here. Okay, so um, if I see a string, I see one string, first thing I'm going to do is make my equation for the total length. And I will get that the length total would be a, there's two SAs going down and one SB going down. Then I'm going to take derivatives all the way to acceleration, even if I don't need it, because that's one place SE students make the mistake, because they do need it, and they haven't taken that one derivative, and they just need that one last equation. So doing so gives me 0 is equal to negative 2 times the velocity A minus the velocity of B. And let's take a derivative again to get the acceleration. Okay, this now says that the acceleration of B is equal to negative 2 times the acceleration of A. I'm going to call that equation number 1. We're going to hold on to that. We will need it. Okay, um, next step uh, usually will be a free body diagram. And let's do one on each object or each mass. So I'm going to do one on A, and then we'll do one on B. On a, I can see right here, we need a mass times the acceleration due to gravity pointed down. And keep your subscripts. Then I also see two tensions pointing up. And I'm going to label them both T. And there's a reason. And that's because in this problem, we only have one string going throughout the whole problem. That means that every spot, the tension is exactly the same. That is a fact. Assuming the pulley is massless and frictionless. So we have to make an assumption first. Okay, but that results in a basically a 2t going up. And a mass times g going down. This does not mean the two are equal. This is the second biggest mistake I see on these problems. These two things are not equal. It is not in equilibrium. This is not statics class. We have to say the summation of the forces on A is equal to mass times the acceleration. And keep all the subscripts. So when I sum the forces, I have 2T going up, a negative MAG going down, and that's equal to the mass times the acceleration of A. We need to hold on to that equation of motion, call that equation number two. Now let's do a free body diagram on B. Okay, B, always something, B is going to have the weight pulling down and one tension pointed up. So mass B times the acceleration due to gravity and just one T. And it's the same T everywhere. All these are the same. Um, we can sum the forces now. The summation of the forces on B is equal to mass B times the acceleration of B. So keep those subscripts right there. Well, we have a T pointed up, an MBG pointed down, and that's going to equal MB times the acceleration of B. All right, that is our third equation, and this is an equation of motion. We have three unknowns. We need this third equation right here to solve. Okay, um, when you solve it, you'll get the acceleration of A equal to a negative 3.27 meters per second squared, or down. The acceleration of B is equal to a positive 6.54 meters per second squared, and it's going up. 
Okay, the you can plug in if you want to to get the tension, and it comes out to 327 newtons. All right, so there's some solutions so far, but what did it ask for? It asked for the velocity at t is equal to zero after it was released from rest. So we can give them a vector answer. Um, to do that, I'm gonna use kinematics now. Um, they, we had a constant acceleration and v naught plus the acceleration of times t and that'd be the acceleration of b. This started from rest, so this just ends up being a 6.54 times 2. And we get a 13.1 meters per second. If you wanted to find out the velocity of a, we could go up here and stick it in this equation right here. And if you wanted to know, let's say, it asked how far B has moved in two seconds. We could have done that too using kinematics. We would have needed that probably to relate the motion or the position of A and B. All right, thank you.